Hey everyone, Kesaman Rules here. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a watermark like mine down here in the corner. The reason I'm doing this tutorial is because uh, most people, when they render their videos with Camtasia Studio, are only able to get themselves a square. Uh, but there are ways, uh, as you can see, because I am rendering this in Camtasia Studio, that you can get any size watermark that you want. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how you can change some settings to be able to allow yourself to get any size watermark as well as how to create a watermark that will work with this format. So first thing you're going to need to do is to create the watermark that you want to do. So for this you're going to either need GIMP or Photoshop. If you don't have Photoshop, go ahead and get GIMP. It's free and it's a decent uh, replacement for Photoshop. It does everything you need, especially for this tutorial. So you can download it from GIMP.org slash downloads if you don't have that already. So after you've downloaded it, and install it you can open it up and this is the interface that you get right here so what you're gonna wanna do is uh, file and new if you're in Photoshop it's a fairly simple process pretty much the same to this and you probably already know how to do this if you take the time to get Photoshop so the first thing that you wanna do is create a new image now you need to figure out what size you're gonna want it to be well if you're doing a screen recording which I'm assuming that you are you're going to want to make this image the size of your screen resolution so if you don't know your screen resolution, you can right click and click screen resolution in Windows 7 or if you're not, if you're in Vista, click personalize and then you see a settings there, like a screen settings and your screen resolution will be listed and it'll say something very similar to this. It'll have a number by a number. So mine personally is uh, 1280 by 800, so I need to remember that number, whatever it is. So width is 1280, height is 800 press OK and here you go now we have a um, big window this is the size of our screen resolution it's obviously not full size because otherwise that would take up the whole screen now you notice it does go off a little bit for me but that's not really a big deal since we're only going to be working on a corner now what you're going to want to do is you need to make everything transparent so I'm pretty sure if you're in Photoshop you have an option to do that right off the bat if you're in GIMP just go on over here press this layer right click and click add alpha channel now press delete and it will delete all the white and you'll have a perfectly transparent background. So now what you need to do is you need to go down to whatever corner you're going to want it in. I'm assuming you're going to want it in the bottom right hand corner like mine. That's where most people put their watermarks so we're just going to work on down here. So you can drag this part over over here you know off a little bit. That's not a big deal. So now what you want to do is um, start creating your watermark whatever you want it to look like. I'll show you guys a uh, tip real quick to be able to make it so that you can place your watermark wherever you want it on the screen so you know exactly where it belongs. So uh, let's just save this real quick. Uh, if not, you can just do it beforehand, but we can just save this real quick. I'm going to save it to my desktop for quick use, so we're just going to do, I'll just do test. You can just, you don't have to give it a file extension, just leave it as the XCF. And let's exit out of GIMP. Now what we need to do is be able to take a uh, full screen picture. So in Windows Vista and in Windows 7, there is um, an option to use a tool that's built in called the Snipping Tool. I'm pretty sure if you're in Windows XP, there's not an option for that, so you're going to need to download some sort of other third-party software. But, um, you know, that's not that hard. You probably already know how to do that if you're doing something more advanced like this. So let's go over here and select the entire page right there. Or another option, the Snipping Tool, is a full-screen picture, but just as quick to select the whole page and we will save that to our desktop doesn't really matter what you name it because we're going to be deleting it in a minute anyway let's whoops let's open back up our GIMP file right here now let's oh go to file open as layers and select that capture off of the desktop so now we have this right here so it fills up the entire screen you'll notice so that way we can create our watermark however we want but don't go create it yet what we first need to do is right click new layer leave it the same and transparent and make sure it's up here at the top so now what we can do is we need to click on this layer the new one that we just created and now we can start creating our watermark you can do it however you want you can make it little you can make it big but however you want it placed on the screen go ahead and do that so I'm gonna do a quick one right here just very simple and you can change the color obviously you probably want to do that you can increase the font size we can position it correctly so there I just did a simple one I'm sure you'll spend more time on that 
but that's how it would look when I render the video. It'll just say case of man rules in white down there in the corner. I like to have mine sitting on the taskbar like that. I think that looks pretty good. So now that you've created your watermark and you're all done, let's go over to the capture.png or whatever you save that as your screen um, capture that you open. Right click it and click delete layer. Now what's left is your watermark on a transparent background. This stays the same because it's still in the same location. So it'll still end up on the same spot when you render it in your video. So now that we're all done with that, you can go ahead and go over here. You can go to file, save as and we can save it to our desktop now as a final so we'll call it watermark and make sure you do dot png at the end so we'll save that export save and it's done so now we can go over here and exit out of GIMP and we're all done right there with that so now we have this picture right here we have a pretty big picture with just our little watermark down in the corner you really can't see anything on there because that's the way it is with the uh, Windows Image Viewer, but anyway. So now that we're done with that, we can open up Camtasia Studio. Oops. And now that we've done that and we're all opened up and ready to go here in a second, what you first need to do is put in the video that you recently recorded. So I'm going to, we'll just put in my intro real quick right here. That'll work fine drag it down right there and now you need to put in whatever settings you have blah 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 however you render your videos um, if you want to see how I render my videos click the annotation up here and it'll take you to my video about that but make sure this is set as your screen resolution also that's just part of it that's that that's gonna gonna have to do that to make sure it works correctly but um, so make sure it's set as your screen resolution um, and I would recommend using my settings because they give you a nice HD but and it'll like work with this tutorial really well but whatever just go ahead and edit and go over to produce videos as so now you'll be right here and what you need to do is you need to go to custom production settings if you're in Camtasia Studio 5 if you're in 6 you can edit your current preset if you have one for how you render or you can just do custom if you want to do that so I'm just gonna do custom here and we'll go through I render it as a WMV make sure it's my screen resolution which it is we'll uncheck that Alright, now this is the important part, you'll get to right here. If include watermark isn't checked, go ahead and check it. And right now you need to go to options. Now you'll get right here, you need to browse for the watermark that you want to use. So, my personal one's right there, but we're going to use the one that we just did. Watermark.png, that's the one that we just did right there. So now what we need to do is we need to go down here, and you'll see image scaling. We need to make sure that that's at 100%. That'll make it so that the image is scaled 100% up against the background of your video. That makes it so it's not going to end up really tiny in the corner. So make sure it's like that. It doesn't matter which you, uh, well I guess it does matter a little bit which one you click right here. But make sure it's in the bottom corner if you want it in the bottom corner. Whichever one, just select it for the right one. Whichever corner you put it in. So those are the only settings you really need to change. Make sure keep aspect ratio is the same, blah blah blah. But that should all be the same. So now you're done, click OK and you've got it right here don't worry about the way that looks because that's just the way it's gonna be click next don't need any of this stuff alright and we'll just save it to the desktop as test and finish and it'll take very it won't take very long at all to render here it'll go by pretty quick um, I'll be right back when it's done just to save time for the video alright and there you go the video just finished rendering so just click finish here and you can X out of that. I don't need to save it, but you might want to save it just in case. And right here the video just played. It does that automatically. And you'll see right down here in the corner, I know that the Windows um, Media Player thing is a little over that, but you can see right down there that it says Queso Man Rules just like that, and that's the watermark. And I have to say that I think it looks pretty good, even as basic as that, but you know, I like to make it more fancy, include information, because now you can put in text, you can put in bigger images, whatever you want, it's quite a useful tool. And it makes it so people can't steal your videos, you can get free advertising, you know, by putting in your um, website, and it's all pretty easy like that. So thank you for watching this tutorial on how I create my watermark down here. I hope you find it useful and can apply it to your videos as well. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next tutorial.